Larson with his set, and there is Ward hammering it from the left side. And that was an easy seam to hit for Colleen Ward. She has a very fast arm. And And there's Barch again. This entire season, those two have been the critical factor for Illinois, despite spending so many weeks at number one in the country. Those two are critical to success. Yeah, and they take a lot of swings, but it never seems... Again! Now, Ward seems to be picking over there on Christy Jekyll. What's up with that, Maria? Well, she keeps cutting it really hard. She wants to go sharp cross against that block. But you see here, she's not left with much. She's going to have to hit outside to the right of Betsy Smith. Larson setting Bart. And that time, Florida cannot save it. So, Illinois won six straight points to get to set point And then finally serve. Illinois had to scramble to return it. And then a powerful kill from that left side by Colleen Ward. Does it, is it an advantage at all for Colleen by this match heading into intermission? And Barch hammers it right at Unruh. Barch earlier in the week admitted she'd given a few concussions during her career, but she's not a mean young lady. You couldn't very, tell just no, talking to her. A very mild-mannered, sweet young woman, but on the she volleyball court. on the active ankles, yeah. it's over. <laughs> She's ferocious out there. Good serve by Bart. She's really picking on Unruh. Mary Wise now telling her passers to start. After about the first 10 points of this set, they've really settled into a nice rhythm. It's a good matchup. Well, Unruh could not catch up with that. Point to Illinois. We're tied at 19. And every time we see Stephanie Farrell step down to, it's going to be a key for Ford to put this one away. Barch trying to make sure that doesn't happen. Colleen Barch, number six, hammers it from the left side. Right through the seam. You see the not completely closed by Chloe Mond. The libero Taylor Unro tried to step into that seam. Right now, she's having to focus them. Barch with the hammer from the left side. Well, I think for Florida, they were really enjoying this unseated underdog role. And now that they've got... And a nice heads-up play by Colleen Barch. Excuse me, Michelle Barch, number six. Set. Ward out of the back row. Boy, she has had a good return to Gainesville. Yeah, just on fire, going up against the triple block that time. And Ward decides that the best shot is right cross court in front of her. But that's the thing about having a player like Colleen Ward and Michelle Barch. They can swing out of the back. <laughs> <laughs> They're about one player. Yeah. I mean, whoever's in front row or back row, you got the same player playing for you. And there's an ace by Ward. She's doing everything for Illinois. Really trying to will her team to a win. Man, Mary Wise is going deep into her bench. Here comes Ward. I mean, Colleen Ward wants the ball. Wow, they had to go to the back row to generate a kill. Michelle Barch had several tries at it, but Ward just gets up out of that pipe. Ward again. Colleen Ward just feeling it right now. Oh, yeah. Turning it that We've seen her hit that sharp cross shot, but she turns it this time, gets it down the line, and right inside Chrissy Jake. Three to one. Florida leads. Ward makes it a one-point lead for Florida. Now Colleen Ward. Right at Beltran. Barch. And Barch finds the opening in the Florida defense. Good hustle by both teams to keep some balls alive, but really good decision by Barch here, just going with the deep cross-court swing, getting it right outside of Taylor. And win in 1988 with him at the helm. Wow, Woo. that's some power from Ward. That's why it's so important to win the pin. Safe so got some heavy hitters outside. And she also wants to use that power now at the service line. The Bateman, the All-American. And a double block awaiting Jupiter. Sent back by Illinois. You can see a spot as soon as USC had a misfire. They gave up that point and then the block. Barch, a very strong one. Here she is with the set, takes it out of the net to Fuller, but nowhere to go with the double block. Now uh, the other side, Johnson and Ward. And, and she says those seniors, herself, Alex Jupiter, Lauren Williams, have really learned how important it is and how... Both sides uh, not showing up just yet. 
Now Lauren Williams, the middle for SC, has been leading the way. And remember, not a great swing on the last one by Ward, but this time a much better choice to go at the small. 6-2 to get up there. Bateman able to push it across. Birch jumps on it. Point line out to tie it up. Set is to 25 after win by two. Nice quick play. Quick, savvy play by Yellow. A couple of five setters against Hawaii and Pepperdine. Point Illinois, Colleen Ward had a memorable region final herself going back to kind of terrific story has had to overcome quite a bit. Gets another dig and sends the pass nails to Birch for the kill. You can see both teams trying to do what they call funneling and that is set up a block but let some of the attacks go at your leader. USC rotates its defense a little, and normally somebody might be standing in middle back where she hits there. Moving to the outside again, and kills again. A little line open there, good. Heads. And I'm sure a lot of Hawaii fans thinking, why are they in that region? Yeah. They should have been in a different region, and Hawaii would have... I can't see any other team in the country. Arch the pass to Lurson. They'll look for Colleen Ward. They're all American. Ends the run. USC even brought in a blocking sub that time. Number 20, Emily Young, just to try to line it up better. But they're lo leaving a bit of line. Block able to slow it down again. Birch terminates. A little smoke on that one for Michelle Birch. Boy, that's a nice swing. And USC's block, Lauren Williams, was cheating over right there, but didn't get her hands over in time. Her hands were on her. March in transition again, and Illinois bringing some heat now. A five-point lead. Only really one blocker up on that play. Nicely executed by Seth. Feldman digs it up. Ward. Now up front, down the line. Illinois taking over here in the second. For, uh, Colleen Ward doing such a nice job of seeing. Okay, USC sets it. Arch again, got it. Kevin Hamley over there talking with his assistant, David Niffen, who was on John Sparaz staff on the men's side at Irvine, and part of a national championship team. Two of them. Position to be able to battle back, make it go five. Wow, some heat from Ward there. But I think both these teams have proven throughout the season that they can respond from adversity. It's getting the bump for Illinois. Ward. Wow. Crushes that one point, Illinois, 20 kills. The on last, the night. sorry, the last two. She's just going right around 6-5, Lauren Williams. Beltran with a good get. Ward out of the back. <laughs> Illinois has got a set point. <laughs> Ward down to get it. Birch ends it. Michelle Barch goes deep to close it down as we head to the fourth. Illinois one set away from their first trip to the finals. Barch can't put it away. Barch can. And again, finding that open seam. A little line left on the block. And if you're going to leave... Three straight five-set matches to reach the NCAA Finals. So USC trying to make some history. There's Aaron getting a piece of that one. Birch, wow. big swing. What a nice set by Colleen Ward to set her counterpart, Michelle Barch, in the backcourt. Pushing that up, that is a very hittable ball. And then Michelle Barch doing a good job with her feet to get in. Oh, she's looking at the ball. She can use her peripheral vision. There's that line that's been open so much against USC. Michelle Barch doesn't even have to take a full swing. That's only about a... Big swing from Ward. That's a design play by Illinois. They brought her into the middle of the court. 
And the block gets caught far too close to the sideline. Immediately controlled by Illinois. They have a swing and they score the point. So the 6'6 McMahon helps with the block on Jupiter and then... Buck Good control pass that time. Ward with a big hit. Six kills for Colleen Ward. Again, coming well into the middle of the court to try and get back into it for her team. Wow. Going to be a lot of Colleen Ward, too, down the stretch, you would think. She also flirting with a new career high. Will it be enough? And then had a well of a night on the Thursday night in the semis. We have the ace for Colleen Ward, who served nails in the fifth and deciding set in the semis. And she talked about their 20-0 and 0 start, getting up all the way. Really physical players like Barch right there, who crushes the ball out of the backcourt. UCLA is going to have to make up for it with fast tempo and better defense. Watch Barch right there through the hands or over the hands of Kidder. Ward, cross court, got it. Boy, did she get it. We saw that against USC. We've seen that all year long. If somebody takes the line on her, she can rip it cross. That's a nice play to take Colleen Ward out of the play by serving her short. And then confusion on the Bruins side. Kelly Reeves could have played that, made a slight move, and then pulled back. Right here, Reeves thinking, I'll play it. And then she doesn't. He might have a swing. Feldman. Now Barch out of the back. Got it down. Point Illinois. So three points here on the serve of Jackie Wolf. And a 4-0 run. Timeout UCLA. Through the block. Ward quick to counter. Point Illinois. Six kills now for Colleen Ward. Todorovic with the tip. Kept up by Lawson. Ward. They were lethal down the line in the semis, and that time Ward went over the center. And that's the risk UCLA took all night long against USC, then Ward on the block, and then she terminates again, turning two points for Illinois, this time right over the block and down the line. Ward Illinois streak possible leads for another. Feldman making a nice defensive play to set up Ward. By Beltran. And now the other All-American, Colleen Ward, gets the kill. She and Barch, that lethal combo, now have combined for 19. Back outside to Ward. They want to get a run going again on the serve of Wolf. Did you hear Ward calling for her that time? She was screaming, go, go, which is the type of set. That is, threads the needle down the line, just as we saw her do so often. Ward, bring the heat. Well, that's a nice answer <laughs> to some serious heat from love. Right back at you. Even neither. To Birch, drills it. Point Illinois. That's a smart swing by Birch. Instead of going over the UCLA block, UCLA's plays. Over to Birch. Pushes that one to the deep corner. Point Illinois. In for the Illini's Aaron Johnson. Back to serve Jennifer Beltran. If they did in set number two, if they're going to. And it started with plays like that in the second set. But if they're going to get their first title ever in their first championship game ever, they're going to have to start making scoring opportunity. Colleen Ward got another one. Back to Colleen Ward. Got it. Another championship point for the Bruins.